Hi, welcome to this video. If you are using Dante devices on location, you might want to use the redundancy feature for enhanced security. And um, sometimes this may be a little bit tricky to set up. We have a little live Dante setup here and I will show you how you get um, the secondary network and the primary network also running smooth without any errors and all devices connecting to each other. So we have an O1V digital console. We have the laptop which we will be recording with Dante Virtual Sound Card. We have a Ferrofish Virtual 32 um, ADAT to Dante Bridge. We have two Cisco 8-port switches and we have two old internet routers. And then we have two GO1608D Yamaha Dante stage boxes, 16 ins and 8 outs each. And we have a Neutrik 2x2 analog to Dante interface, which uh, is powered over Ethernet soon. So we want to connect all these devices to uh, together in one Dante network with primary and secondary port working, thus with redundancy. The switches are already powered up. All devices are connected, but not powered up yet. The two routers are powered up, but also not connected to the respective switches. So we first want to see what happens if I just power up all devices. this one, the Neutrik one, into the first port of this 8-port switch, which is delivering power over Ethernet. We can see that this port delivers the power. And let's have a look at Dante controller. So we can see that all devices default to the link local address range 169254 and on the secondary port 172.31. Something the laptop is not yet on the correct IP address range, so they are shown in red. And what we want to do is make all these devices unite in another IP range which is delivered by our two internet routers. As soon as I plug those into the network switches, so I'm plugging in this one into the primary network, and the second router into the secondary network which let's see what happens so my IP range of choice is the 192.168.100 for the primary network and the Neutrik already has changed its address and now the O1V is following and you also see that they are all assign an address on the secondary port in the 172.31.1 range. So now all devices are in the desired address range and we're done. So all subscriptions are there. Some subscriptions have been made to other devices not present on this network. 
but the two routers provide specific IP address ranges to the devices connected to the respective switches. So let's see for the bigger one of the routers how it's configured. Um, let's have a look at what the computer is set to. So I have this app called NetSetMan network settings manager and it can switch between network address settings for your network adapters without the need to reboot your machine so that saves a lot of time and we have this laptop which should be connected to the first router let's activate its profile so it should get into this range and obtain an IP address automatically and on the second NIC port which is the one here the inbuilt one it should connect to the 172.31.1 range I activate that The second NIC port, the inbuilt one, was disabled, so this app can enable it, and that's what it did also, so it's now working. That helps uh, to have the laptop looking on the primary and secondary network. In Dante Controller, which we can see now, so the USB to LAN adapter is on the primary network and the other one is looking on the secondary network and so we have the primary and secondary lit green here that indicates that uh, both the laptops interfaces are properly working and we can see that all the devices are still in the desired range or ranges and we restart the web interface of this primary router to see what is set up in its network settings because this is where I can specify the address range it should um, provide as a server a DHCP server into the primary switch so we can see it's the 192.168.100 range and the second one secondary router is our DHCP server for the 172.31.1 range can be specified in the options of this router so here I have specified my desired IP range. It should provide the HCP server addresses too. So if you have two in old internet routers lying around, which are still working, you can use them as dedicated DHCP servers for the primary and secondary network, Dante network and get rid of a lot of problems you may run into if you just leave all devices to choose their own link local addresses which may match but sometimes don't match 
and this ensures that you can properly route between all devices. Let's have a last look at the rear sides of the TOs. I hope you can see what's going on. So they're both set up the same way. To use redundancy, you have to put dip switch 4 down, else the second port will be used as a regular switch port. Now it's set to redundant mode, then the dip switch 6 is the one which is looking for a DHCP server on the network if it's down, and dip switch 7 is the startup mode of the machine, which is in this case resume mode, which means that it just goes back into the same mode it was when it was last powered on or off. So it just keeps the settings of the last session. And both devices are identically set up. So this is how you get proper redundancy on the TOs. I hope this helps. See you next time. Thanks for watching.